right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. While you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ah, yes, the sweet science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue, yeah. you decide you want to fight mixed martial arts, it's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab, it always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has an ability to switch stances from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez, Oh, or it's no? unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 264 pounds. Fighting out of Brookline, Massachusetts, Big Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Started here, round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the U.S. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Punch coming, it's blocked. You know, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. He loaded up on that right hand, too. And he caught the kick. Now connects with a right. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Big kick. Yeah. 
And just misses with that big right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished. So when you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression of right. his opponent. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, huge kick to the body. He went high on that one. Punches blocks. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Oh! He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Single collar tie now. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, land the punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. in a single ball of tie here. The right hand just misses. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now he's got the tie clinch. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, nice jab. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Got the single collar tie. Oh, well-timed and placed overhand by Lee. Oh, collar tie. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. <laughs> 20 seconds left. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And they separate. That was a thudding leg. Back and forth we go! Big punch from the clinch. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Job landing. What a damaging punch. Nice leg kick. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, man. That's a nice kick right there. He 
doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's gotta be confident that it's going to land, and he's gotta really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Big kick land. And there comes the separation now. Liver kick. Oh man, head kick lands. A oh, little single collar tie there. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Big head kick lands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just out of range with that right hand. Three minutes remain in the round. Unable to connect with the right. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, and he lands another punch there. And you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right head. at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Huge knee lands for his hope. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nice one, two there. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Able to check that kick as well. Unable to land the head kick there. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Unable to find the target there. All right, single collar tie now. Got that Thai clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. And I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Just, oh! What a fight so far. There's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again.
Third round underway. situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. <laughs> Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Push him off! Push him off! <laughs> All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, nice. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice job of hiding that hit. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You gotta play cat and mouse. Hit, don't get hit. Oh. Just break out. And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel. And that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 26 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.